and it had been raining that day, all day. But nevertheless, around five o'clock, a man there, a tornado twister, decided to come through our city and especially through our community and left miles of devastation behind. But thank be unto God out of all of the devastation and the horrific thing that was taken, we see that no life was lost. No life was lost. Through braises and some broken legs and some scrapes, some bumps and some bruises, but no life. Amen. amen. Just property damage and amen. And I think that's something to be thankful for. Yes. That's something that we can be grateful for. Amen. And everything just from my house and now we will definitely try to call back home because my wife and I just had sit to uh, eat a dinner and uh, the commotion there where we was eating was, they were screaming and hollering and hiding and, and my wife even was trying to hide too <laughs> but, but, but nevertheless she, she, she asked me she said come on, come on and I began to pray just where I was Amen. I said, Lord, if this is my time, then I can't hide from you. If this is what I, my end results will be, there's no table I can go on, there's no closet I can go in if it's my time. But I thank God that they settled all down and all the, the streaming and the and the commotion was, and I sit right there and utter my prayer. And one thing about it, I wasn't praying, amen, while the twister was going on, but I was praying way before the storm came. Yeah. And to that, and I tried, and the only thing I worried about, I said, well, I wonder what the children were in my, but I called my children, now they all in middle school and high school and, and all. Amen in out of school. But I got that one in high school and one in the middle school. But that was my concern. I said, well, let me just get home. And, and the phone was so busy and I couldn't get through. And that's the only thing that kind of uh, made me really concerned. I couldn't get in. A few minutes, she called back and said, we out here looking at it. I said, go in the house. <laughs> I said, we were watching it. But thank be unto God, right up the street. Everything will right up the street. Amen. Thank be unto God. Amen. Yeah, I said, well, anything, they mean it is free because as they looked out in the, at the, uh, the eating place we were, and they said, it's moving on the interstate and, and look at all of the debris and look at all of the stuff that it is bringing with it. And I knew that something was tore to up and destroyed through that. So we began to, after uh, receiving that they was okay, and I got a, some a more consolation, and I said, well, let me just finish my soup. <laughs> hey, let me finish my soup. I said, well, if I had to go, let me just leave here eating my soup. Anyway. <laughs> but we talked about storm. And that began to cross my heart on last night. And I would like to share with you concerning stones, stones of life. I wish I could give you news today to say that the stone that we experienced on last Sunday was the last one. But I want to serve you notice today there is yet going to be another one. Storm, not only as we experience, but we are experiencing every day the storms of life. The storms of life. 
But in the storms of life, we find that there is a hidden blessing. In the storm of life. I like to talk about that today. Can I? Yeah. Let's just, 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 so if you hear and agree with me, let's, let's say it together. Uh, uh, the hidden blessing. In the storms of life. Well, I wish that I could tell every one of you that you won't have a storm. I wish I could bring you that kind of a news today. But I want you to know that we're going to have some storms in life. The storms of life will continue to rage. Yes. 